This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. Some gyms, restaurants and houses of worship are desperately trying to fight another round of indoor restrictions arriving this weekend. Some are vowing to keep doors open. A group of San Diego County gyms is suing to avoid closure and two adult entertainment clubs won a lawsuit allowing them to stay open. Supervisor Kristen Gaspar says the county appealed to the state to avoid this tier. Although individual businesses are fighting back legally, Gaspar says at this point it doesn't appear the county has any plans to file a suit against the state. A nearly hour long police chase through San Diego ended with a driver in handcuffs. It started this afternoon with reports of a man in distress near Hoover High School. Police say he drove off, led officers down University Avenue through Hillcrest and into downtown. He drove through multiple spike strips. He crashed over the curb into the car rental center at Lindbergh Field, got out and ran. After a brief struggle, police took the man into custody. Today, San Diego's military community honored Veterans Day with a boat parade in San Diego Bay. A team of veterans led the parade on a swift boat from the Maritime Museum of San Diego. About 70 boats participated in San Diego Bay. Normally, San Diego celebrates Fleet Week with a parade along the Embarcadero. Organizers say they had to get creative this year, so they took to the water. Meteorologist Angelica Campos is here now to tell us what our forecast looks like in the coming days. Angelica. <laughs> Hi, Kim. So beautiful to watch all those boats and the weather will be beautiful once again tomorrow. Temperatures trending below average, but a warm up is on the way. Coming up, I'll show you when it begins. 